Yeah, buddy. It's been a while, folks. It has been a while since I made a video. And it, uh, it's been busy. I've been working on some systems, man. I've been trying to work on the, work on these systems, get everything in order, get everything in check. Sorry, it's been so long. It's been months since I made a video. Um, reconnected with my uh, fans. I've been getting questions on, hey, where you been at? You know, you haven't showed progress on your ammo. You haven't showed any of your rifles or anything in a while. Um, this is what I'm working on right now, guys. I'm not a gunsmith, but man, with the power of YouTube and, and you know, the internet, you can find out how to do anything yourself. I still have a lot of parts coming in for this build. This is going to be a 762 by 39 AR build. I have all the parts for it except for magazines and a, and a barrel. I'm going to go with an 18-inch barrel on this one, a, a CAC barrel. CACs, it seems like they're the only ones that make an 18-inch barrel mid-length. Um, so mid-length is where it's at for me, man. I, I mean, carbine guns, great, but I like my guns to, to function very well. And, you know, I mean, carbine guns function well, but I want that soft recoil, you know, I want it to just function smooth, man. I have all the parts for this, and I'm, I'll let you guys know um, when it's done. I'm, I'll actually take you along with it. I'll show you the parts that I, I got for it. I have, like I said, I have all the parts except for my burrow and my magazines. I mean, and and I and I did great this time shopping on the cheap, guys. No more Magpul, no more Seekins Precision, no more uh, badass development, no more. Spikes Tactical, all these expensive companies that is just raping us with just, you know, they got this stuff made in China and, and overseas and they they charge you a premium for it, guys. I said, you know what? This AR is going to be a cheap built AR, but it's going to be quality parts um, that I want. I'm going to still try to keep it somewhat light, lightweight, you know. After gathering up information for a while, you know, I, I definitely don't want a, a bunch of weight. So I shop for parts um, that are quality parts, but on the cheap. I used, uh, definitely lose eBay. eBay is, man, they got stuff on eBay that's just, it's unreal. It's ridiculous, you know. Another one is Optics Planet. I used Optics Planet a lot. You know, they you always get 5% off or, you know, you get free shipping and most of the time they have stuff stuff in stock, but I have to learn the hard way with them that even though you can put it in your cart and order it, it may not be in stock. So you have to check availability. But I just started shopping at uh, Primary Arms, man. You know, they're not kicking me back for anything. You know, I know they sell optics. You know, my choice of optics is UTG. I, I go UTG everything for optics. I'm not messing around with any Trigicons. I'm not messing around with any ACOGs or... You know, I'm pretty sure primary arms and holosons are good, but if it's over two hundred dollars an optic, I'm not doing it, dude. It's not that serious. I'm not in Afghanistan. I'm not going to war. You know, if if an a hundred dollar UTG uh, red dot or scope, if I can get you know efficient with that, then I'm good. You know, but primary arms, man, they have stuff on sale, and then I learn. Hey, when you do buy stuff, be patient and wait because when it comes to a holiday like Fourth of July and Memorial, stuff was going on sale like crazy, guys. You know, and sometimes they do flash sales. You know, like now I get emails from Primary Arms weekly now saying, "Hey, we have these items on sale," and I'm just like, "Damn it, <laughs> man! I need this, I need that, and it's for a great price." You know, so I mean, you can build an AR on the cheap. You can build a quality AR on the cheap. As you can see, this is a Anderson lower. Like I said, I'm not going spikes tactical. I'm not going. If I was to go upscale on a lower, the only lower I would go upscale on is arrow precision. That's it. You know, the arrow precision to me, they're a company that that makes good products. You know, everybody else gets their stuff made out of house. They 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 bring it over to this facility. They slap their name on it and they charge you hundred dollars for a damn lower. This lower was 50 bucks for me. You know, I could have got it for cheaper, but that was me being, you know, anxious and not waiting for sales, you know. But even when we do get lowers on sales, you got to pay a transfer fee if you get it online and all that good stuff. So, you know, hey, for my local discount gun mart here in San Diego, I got this 
lower, you know, for a good price. I think it was 50 bucks, you know, not not bad. You know, yeah, I could have did better, maybe 40 because I see them for 40 bucks sometimes. Sometimes I even see them for 30. But hey, what can I say? You know, got the ALG trigger. Like I said, I paid full price for this. And I got this like two, three months ago when I really could have waited for a holiday sale and got it for $20 cheaper, you know. Strike Industries uh, uh, Enhanced uh, Lower Parts Kit without the trigger goop because I've decided I was going to um, put a, uh, a ALG trigger in this, you know. And like I said, I have a CMC trigger. I, when I got that CMC trigger, I paid $140 for it. Is it a nice trigger? Yeah, but it's not that serious, guys. A three and a half pound trigger, great. Like I said, that, that, again, it's great. This ALG trigger, I've done mad research on. I've done YouTube videos. Watch. You can go four and a half or you can go six pound trigger. I'm going six pound spring in it because, again, I, I'm going to try to run this with a uh, steel case and see how it does. It does have an enhanced firing pin. It's a coat bolt. Uh, a, I'm sorry, a cap bolt. It does have a hands firing pin or they shave down the, the actual bolt to, to have the firing pin protrude a little bit more. That that bolt carrier group is melanited. Um, well, I have it right here with me. It is, you know, I'm, I'm only messing around with melanite stuff these days, you know. It's all lubed up. Or we're already ready to go. And it's lubed up with this because I've done... Um, extensive research on this too and like i said i you know i'm not doing magpul i'm not doing bad lever i'm not doing uh bcm or bad development company i'm not doing those companies no more again if i want to splurge on a company that makes good stuff it's going to be strike industries that's my go-to brands that's my go-to preferred brands now other than that i'm shopping uh trinity force gun tech I got a gas block from Gun Tech, a steel gas block, clamp on for 15 bucks. You know, my boat carrier groups from now on are going to be tool craft. Um, like I said, all these companies slap their names on it and charge you a premium for them. When tool crafts, I think, supplies all these companies their boat carrier groups, or at least it's OEM. It's what you're going to find, you know, in your in your AR that you bought off the buy, buy off the shelf. <clears throat> also got some of this, some gun scrubber. I'm going to use this to clean. You know my boat carrier group or whatever part of my uh, my rifle I need to clean, um, and then I'm gonna give it a once over with this. Pretty much, this is all uh, for internals and then and barrel, and then externals. I have some grease I'm gonna use for like the trigger. Um, already in my other on my other rifle, I put some inside the uh, the buffer tube, the buffer extension, and it, it's cycling very well. It's cycling like it wasn't cycling better before but now it's really it's got a real smooth cycle to it now um so you know if you guys have any tips on the x39 you know the 762 by 39 uh leave me some comments guys I, i'm excited about this build again like i said all i need is to get um um magazines and i'm going with c products primary arms had the asc's on sale for for i think it was nine dollars a nine dollars for a mag but i just kept doing research and man people were having problems with those magazines so i cd pre i they're they're tried and true so i'm just gonna go with that wait for those to go on sale and then go for this cack barrel and then uh we'll see how it goes so i have a lot of catching up to do guys i'm sorry about not putting out the videos this is survival of the fittest um let's do it man